we are preparing in the memory of the late General Aronda Nyakirima, who was a minister and died, but had served as the Chief of Defense Forces. We would like to start with asking, we have never had such a memorial before. Why now? You have never had? Such a memorial held. Oh. Yes, sir. Well, it must be from the army. I, I, in, on my side, I am so busy with so many things. Yes. Uh, it, it is there for the army to prompt me. So I don't know how it started in the army, whether it was you or Mozi who started this. It was the city of sir. Fine. Th yes, that sir. means uh, uh, he, he, he is he's doing the right thing to capture the history of the forces. Yes, sir. And of the, it's, it is part of patriotism. Because if you don't appreciate people who contributed, then how would the ones today and the ones of tomorrow, how would they be encouraged? If your line is out of sight, out of mind, then how do you build a culture of, of, of sacrifice? Yes, sir. So I think it is, it is good. On my side, of course, I've got so many things. Obviously, sir. So unless I'm prompted by the sectors, then I, 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 will, not, I will not remember. So it's, it's a good initiative. I'm happy to hear that your new CDF has brought up this culture. He had started it early, of course, because even when he was here, he was uh, naming these barracks after Nyerere, after Mas Samora Masher, after... Yes. Uh, he, 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 maybe because he, he grew up in the, in the struggle. In the struggle. Maybe. Maybe, maybe that, that may be the reason. Yes, sir. Mm. But it's a good culture. We have had the several commanders in your view, why do we start with General Ronda, sir? You are the one who proposed it. I have yeah. no idea why. What okay. was the logic? The, the other commanders, Tumina has just died recently. Yes. Sare is still alive. Yes. The other one was Seguya in the bush. In the bush. <coughs> so I don't know why they started with the Ronda. Okay. But, but who, who are the others? The ones who died, I don't, I think these are the only ones. The other ones who died. Mm. Seguya and the Tumwine. Seguya and Tumwine. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, plus uh, Gino Kazin. Kazin. Yes, sir. Yes, okay. Mm. The, what would you want the young commanders to learn from the works of people like General Aronda? I think for Aronda, the, the, uh, the main thing was discipline. Because you see, the Aronda was not in the chain of command. Together with the Mugishamuntos, there were PCs, there were political commissars. And when we were in the bush, we did not have time to integrate the PCs properly into, into the combat, combat side. Yeah. Uh, we, we had enough, the, the combat side was mainly composed of the school leavers. The, the ones who had left the secondary schools. Yes, uh, people like Sare, like Mugume Joram, like Patrick pa Rumumba. Yes. Like, if you look at the ones who commanded uh, the attack on Kampala, it was 1st Battalion, uh, Pekos Kutesa and uh, uh, Fred Mugisha. Third Battalion, Rumumba, Five Battalion, Kashaka, yes. Seven Battalion, uh, 
uh, was uh, Chargonza. Yes. Uh, 13th Battalion was uh, Ivan. Ivan Kurita. Uh -huh. 15th Battalion was Samson Mande. Yes. 17th Battalion was Adam Waswa, the one from Rwanda. From Rwanda, yes. Mm -hmm. 19th Battalion, Kerim Peter. Uh, 21 battalion was uh, Benen, Benen Tumkunde. Tumkunde. Mm. So you see, none of those was, was a graduate. True. And the co com co combat line was mainly uh, school leavers, but who had been in the army before, mainly. Uh, right. Who had been in the old armies. They had military experience. A military experience. Mm. Uh, either for NASA, for NASA mainly. Yes. For NASA, or even UA, because like Peter Karim had been in UA, yes, in sir. Uganda Army. Mm -hmm. So, when these Makere students came, we said for you, you handle the politics, the politics, the mobilization. Yes, sir but also the ideology in the, in the army. Uh, now, what we were planning was to develop all of them to integrate uh, after the war. Yes. But many of them died, died from natural causes. Like all those men of the, the, the ones I'm talking about died. Yes, sir. The, the combat group. Mm -hmm. But fortunately, these pieces, they were, they were more disciplined. Avoiding al alcohol, avoiding uh, the, 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 the women which were killing the others. So they survived. Mm -hmm. And we were able now to convert them. Uh, to convert them to, to do both the the political, but also the, 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 the combat, co, 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 uh, command role, which saved the army. Indeed. Because what would have happened if they had also died? That means we would have had to go to the remnants of the old armies uh, who didn't have either the combat experience or, or the ideological orientation. Uh, they really, they really helped us, helped the army. Mm. Until now, that's how we were able to recruit the new ones, like this CDF Moors group, who now had time to develop in a wholly integrated way. Yes, sir. From uh, officer cadet, what? Because they had, we had the time and the opportunity. The, the, the capacity to train yes, them properly now without r r patching here and there. So they, they, they played a very good transitional role, you can call it like that. Yes. Transitional and gap feeding. It was both to gap feed, to fill a gap which had been created. Yes, sir. Aronda, Mishamuntu. The other pieces, uh, Sande Mukuru. Sande Mukuru, yeah. Uh -huh. the, 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 even people like Henry Tumkunde, although he was chaotic, mm -hmm. but, but, but he, 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 that one, and uh, who are the others? I'm trying to remember. The late Pecos Kutesa, who I also. No, remember. Pecos was uh, from the old army. That's okay. Was the the Fronasa group. Yes. He was a combat commander from the beginning. In 2006, at the pass out in the Singo, you made this statement. There had been, after watching a pass out demonstration in the field craft and what have you, you remarked that you have always been advising us, but people were not following, but the around the Mayombo team has given you sleep about the army. I don't know whether you'll call that statement, mm -hmm. sir. The, that? That the Aronda Mayombo team had given you sleep 
about the army. You no longer worried mm. about management of the army. Mm. Uh, what made you say that, sir? I don't remember well, but it must have been because of the... We had seen, we were watching uh, combined arms being put in, pre in practice for the first time. Uh, I don't remember in particular, but it must have been because of the ideology, because they were more ideological. Yes, sir. Mayombo, uh, because, you see, there were two dangers. One danger was Jeshi is just fighting. There, there will be people who, who will put, push that line. Jeshi ni mapambano peke yake. Then, which of course was not correct. What was correct was uh, the, 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 the political struggle had, been, had forced us to go into the armed struggle. But the original problem was ideological. So it was not correct to forget the ideology and just say combat, combat, combat. But at the same time, you, you have got to grasp the combat properly. Yes. So that you don't become a desk, a desk uh, type of fighter. So the synthesis is what we are always looking for. Mm. Yes, sir. And now you have got more, more, more possibility to do it because we have the time we have the institutions, we have the educational levels. Yes. Uh, 